The temporary duck facility is quickly advancing its way towards Stanley, and by the time of this broadcast, should have arrived in the Falklands, ready for Noble's exploration projects, despite the delays due to considerable weather conditions at sea. The, the arrival of the barge, the temporary dock facility, uh, means uh, the first step, uh, physical step, in, in Noble's exploration program. As you know and everybody here knows, we've gotten approval to install the temporary dock facility. And as you can see over our shoulder, the work on the temporary dolphins has begun. And it means the first physical step where we'll have kit going into the harbor uh, that we'll be able to uh, complete around the July 1st time frame, which will allow us to begin to bring uh, goods into the Falkland Islands in preparation for our exploration program. Uh, departed uh, New Orleans on uh, February the 9th, I believe, or 7th, and uh, it's been under tow uh, on the way through the Caribbean. Stopped in Trinidad for a little fuel top off to make sure the load was still secure and has set sail. It's been making very good time, uh, averaging about 220 miles a day over the last 10 days. The temporary dock facility will be here, a mere 400 meters to the east of Five Pass. As this significant and iconic moment for the future of Stanley draws ever closer, we've spoken to several members of Noble Energy Limited about the plans for this temporary dock and their further plans for the development and extraction of oil. And currently there is, there is work underway it's, uh, as the barge is drawing nearer. Can you explain to us a little bit about what, uh, what's currently going on at the moment? Sure, right now we're putting in the temporary dolphins. These are in the location um, adjacent to the permanent works. And uh, with these two dolphins in place, we'll actually bring the barge alongside of that on arrival and run out a, a four-point temporary mooring system. So these uh, allow us to, to bring the barge in safely, secure it as we set all our permanent equipment. Once, uh, once the barge is in, we'll, you know, we'll step up our marine aspect and um, we'll uh, get another vessel around to assist us and we'll come on in through the narrows. Now, that's a very weather-dependent operation and um, we'll pick the right moment and, and come on through and as mentioned, lay up against the temporary dolphins and, and run the mooring system. Uh, when do you expect the temporary dock facility to be operational by? Operationally speaking, um, by July we should be able to run trucks onto it if we need to. Um, you know, that's a bit hard to say now, it's not even in the Falklands, but right now we're, we're targeting July. This important piece of Stanley history was marked by a public meeting with Noble's Senior Vice President of Business Innovation, Susan Cunningham. She spoke about wanting to make a difference and the importance of Noble being wanted in the Falklands. We believe long term for the company to be all that it can be, that we really want to make a difference and all human beings want to make a difference. And so if the company to really be successful over the long term, if we focus on that, where we make a difference, a positive difference for for the communities we're in, the countries we're in, the employees we have, uh, any shareholders, uh, partners, it's again the whole picture, then we will be invited back. And to, that's actually an important point is that we really believe that it's a privilege to work wherever we work. We're very aware that we are leasing. We have to be wanted. <laughs> And if we don't think of it that way, if we are not going to be invited, if we jeopardize being invited back, then we're not doing our job. We asked Susan Cunningham about whether the threats from Argentina had deterred the company. We've really not found a problem. The, the companies that we work that are used to working in the industry are used to all sorts of political issues around the globe. And, uh, and so we've, we're really not deterred by that at all. And we have not gotten any sense of any concern either from uh, other companies, that everything is very manageable. Uh, and so we're going to proceed on. She also explained some of the unique issues facing workers in the islands. There always are, are, are things that we need to be very conscious of for the environment. Uh, clearly when we were shooting seismic, things like mammals being around while the seismic was being shot and we had someone and we shut down whenever anyone was, any one, any uh, mammals were around. Um, and so that's part of it. There's massive amounts of work we do for, in the, for any environmental impact from the, dock, the barge, the temporary dock, and clearly to when we are drilling. And so we've got all sorts of processes in place and doing all sorts of studies to make sure that we really don't impact in any negative way the environment. 
um, in terms of any of the larger environmental issues. Um, we we did our due diligence. We knew exactly what we were getting into. We understand the situation in the Falklands, and we are thrilled to be working in the Falklands. For me as a country manager, it's particularly uh, exciting because I see uh, something really coming to, uh, to fruition.